guys what's up welcome back to my channel so I was in a bit of a hurry because I don't have much time today but I wanted to show you guys the protein shake that I have been drinking so as you guys are seeing this right now Timmy just came out with their very own protein powder it is a vegan chocolate protein powder so your girl was lucky enough to be sent it I have been testing it for a week and this is the way that I've personally been drinking it so as you saw I put in water some ice some Greek yogurt and then just the protein powder blended it all up and this is the consistency I don't want to like spill it it's more of like an ice cream smoothie consistency love it mm. and for a vegan protein powder let me tell you this is really good and I'm not just saying that because I'm sponsored by them blah 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 I'm not like I'm dead ass telling you guys and it really smells so good too as soon as I opened it and I smelled it I was like oh, it smells just like milk chocolate it's really good so that is that more information on it just to like fill you guys in I do have a promo code you can use ALV 20 for 20% 20 off or ALV 25 for 25% off so I'll have them linked in the description it is going to retail for $31.99 protein is usually expensive especially vegan protein this has 17 grams of protein 80% organic pea protein and then the 20% is from rice protein it has white tea infused into the blend it's 14 servings each serving is 7 17 grams of protein so there's 14 servings in this with 17 grams of protein for $31.99 so I'm outside of my local Walmart and yes I know this whole coronavirus I'm actually pre-filming this too so this will be about like five days pre-filmed from when I actually post it so I just want to kind of get some things that I need for a DIY video that I have I want to do tie-dye so tie-dye is coming back and I took a poll on my Instagram and it's still up right now actually and I asked how do you feel about tie-dye that's a little poll I've got going on 71% of people so far have said yes and then the 29% have said they don't like the trend coming back I also like a week ago asked for questions and I never ended up doing that video because coronavirus a lot of stores are closing I don't really want to eat out as much right now so I'm just gonna sip on my protein for a bit before I go inside and I'm just gonna answer some of the questions screenshotted the questions so I could just like you know like swipe through them and see which like ones I want to answer so the first one is what's your favorite foundation so I actually got this question quite often in my DMs I use the L'Oreal infallible I think it's called matte foundation I am in the shade 204 and that has been my go-to for like I want to say like two years I've tried high-end foundations I've tried drugstore ones and honestly this one has just been my go-to and it's been the best it keeps me matte all day it stays on it doesn't get crusty after a while and it's a reasonable price I think it's like 21 Canadian dollars oh so yeah that's the foundation that I use next is what school do you go to so I am currently at York University I don't know if I've ever answered that but I'm graduating in like a couple weeks anyways so if you guys know it's not really that big of a deal I'm um, in health management I think I answered it a bit more in another Q&A that I have I will have it linked also how cute is this straw I got on Amazon it's like a reusable mouth straw I like drinking my protein shakes with a straw don't like I don't know why if that's weird I just how I like it. When is the big of an engagement going to happen? Oh my gosh, I get this question all the time from some of you subbies in my DMs, from my family, from my friends. I truly, I'm not ready. I want to say that I am not ready to get engaged until I am 27 or 28 years old. I am right now 24. I'm gonna be 25 in a couple months. Not that I don't wanna get engaged to my boyfriend. Ideally, and he knows this as well, like he knows this, I've talked to him about it. We've had such long discussions about absolutely everything, marriage, kids, engagements, like what we expect, what we don't like, and like we're very open now, which is something that I love about us. We've become like that recently, like I wanna say a year-ish. We've really hit that, okay, communication is key we need to just be honest and truthful so he knows where I'm at he knows where my head is at and I feel like 27 is a good year of my life for me to get engaged and you know get married by 28 kids by 29 you know that's the plan so far stay tuned for that <laughs> did you ever shop from Laura's boutique again girl that's the tea that we need um Mm -mm. No, I didn't. I did not. So, um, 
honestly, like I mentioned before, when I shopped from Laura's Boutique, even making that video, I had probably a little over a thousand subscribers. And that video didn't take off until like three months after it was posted. I was in Barcelona in another country and then my notifications were going off on YouTube. I never did it for the clout, the followers, the YouTube money. I never did it for any of that. Like I was just saying my experience with how it went. I was pissed as hell because it was like I wasted so much money. It took forever. Everybody was ignoring me. Her customer service wasn't the best. Blah, blah, blah. Go check those videos out if you haven't seen them. If you know what I'm talking about. But no, I have never shopped from them again. Honestly, after that, I kind of just closed that chapter and I haven't looked back. I would be willing to try it again because things change, people change. You know, she could have been in a very stressful time at that point and everything was just falling through the cracks. It's 2020, you know, we got to be more open-minded and everything. So, if you guys, only if you guys, I wouldn't do it unless you guys really wanted me to order from them again and see how my experience goes with them again, then I would be willing to go in with an open mind, a clean slate. Obviously not now with the whole like virus thing going around, but if you guys really wanted me to, after all of this has calmed down, after everything has gone back to normal, I would be willing to review her clothing for you guys. So if that's something you want to see, let me know down in the comments. But if you don't want to see it, don't get mad at me. Don't say I'm trying to like get more clouds or whatever. Don't say I'm trying to use her or whatever. Just a simple yes or no. If you guys want me to order from her, yes. If not, no. And I'll keep living my life. I think I'm going to do one more question because I got to get going. How do you stay positive when it comes to growing on social media? So that's a really good question because honestly, I'm, I don't grow that fast on YouTube. I don't grow that fast on Instagram. It's just, I feel like YouTube, I don't even know if I mentioned this in a video or whatever, but when I started YouTube, I wanted to do it as like a personal kind of video diary to myself, which is why I have some vlogs, I have some hauls. But the vlogs obviously don't do as well on my channel as like hauls do. You guys really like hauls. I love doing vlogs for the simple fact of having them, of being able to look back in a year. Like me and my boyfriend watched our my Barcelona vlogs from a year ago and we were like, oh my God, I didn't remember that small little detail that this camera captured. So for me, it's never really been about growing my followers. It's kind of just YouTube alone has just always been like, my little diary for me to have growing up as a kid, I always had a little diary and now I have a video diary, which is YouTube. So I feel like that's really cool. I don't really stress about numbers and everything because if you do, it's gonna consume you. It's gonna take the fun out of YouTube. It's gonna take the fun out of Instagram if you wanna go take pictures and all of that. I understand that you wanna grow and I understand that you're excited and all of this. We all wanna grow, we all wanna be excited. I'm also super busy in my actual life so I don't really have time to stress about this. I'm not looking to make you YouTube a full-time job I'm not looking to be like some Instagram model right now my two focuses are my other two jobs and I'm in school I'm trying to graduate right now so for me like numbers and all of that it's just like whatever to me I'm just like chilling but I understand how people do want to grow and they do want to have this a career and you get discouraged I understand that but at the end of the day like it doesn't matter do what you want to do because you're gonna create the content that you want if you start doing content that other people want to see, you think other people are going to want to see, it's not what you truly want to do. But once you find what you want to do and you have fun doing it, the followers are going to come. The people are going to see your energy. They're going to vibe with you. They're going to be like, oh my God, I love doing this too. Or you're so comfortable doing that. The way you're going to make your videos, the way you're going to talk in front of the camera, going to be genuinely you. And people are going to see that. They're going to like it. They're going to subscribe. They're going to follow. They're going to like. Yada, yada, yada. You're going to grow, 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 grow. And then boom, like you don't have to worry about making videos that other people are gonna like this is your channel you do what you want and people you're gonna find people there's so many people in this world there's so many people on YouTube that are just gonna click on the video be like oh my god I just found you I really like you new subby boom Instagram same thing like for my Instagram it's more of a kind of like fashion outfit Instagram but again it's because I do have sponsorships so most of those posts most of the posts I do are tied to a sponsorship where I have to post sponsors like that but I do love outfit pictures I love going on random adventures with my boyfriend finding like cool places to take these pictures with my boyfriend and then just posting them and I have fun doing that I love like just going on adventures with him don't get discouraged it's not gonna happen overnight 
I feel like I'm rambling. Thank you guys so much for asking questions. If you guys want your questions answered in another video next time I do this, don't forget to follow me on Instagram because that's where I do the little like poll question thingy-majiggy. And so yeah, it'll be linked in the description. I'm at Walmart right now. We're gonna buy some little necessities that I need because we're quarantined inside self-isolation mode. And then some basic white shirts that I can tie-dye. And in case I ruin them, they're not too expensive, so it'll be okay. So let's go to Walmart. This is crazy, look at the aisles. There's really no toilet paper. What? Not that I needed toilet paper, but no toilet paper. Ooh, we found white t-shirts for $4.97. I can't talk long because of the music here. I don't want to get copyrighted and a lot of people are just walking by just staring at me, but it's fine. Just talking to a pile of t-shirts. So, oh, this will be a cute tie-dye dress. Look at this. I think my boyfriend's a medium and then a small. We can crop it into a crop top. Is this like tie-dye? Is this considered tie-dye? For $19.99. From $19.99, look at this. I wanna see if I can recreate this. Another one. I found a little white hat. Maybe I can tie dye this. Oh my God, there's no pastas either. Spaghetti. Any chicken Alfredo. Wow. Oh, they have Alfredo sauce. Yes, I'm gonna stock up on Alfredo sauce. Mushroom Alfredo, no. Four cheese Alfredo, I need this. Some random men. I think he's undercover security. Um, do we get the garlic one? Four cheese. Gonna get one garlic one. I think that's it. This is what the cart is looking like. The shirts, the hat, and Alfredo sauce with no pasta, because there's no pasta anywhere. There's so many people at Walmart staring, but I think that's everything. No ramen noodles, but we stocked up at the house. There's no toilet paper, no ramen noodles, no pasta, and what is this? Canned fish and meat. Not that I need that, but. It's also running low, so I'm gonna pay for this, and I'll see you guys one sec in the car. All right guys, I am home. I didn't show you in the car anything or me driving home. And then I just told the little one that we're going to the park. Oh, he gets so excited. My plans got canceled. My boyfriend was supposed to get off work at three, but now he's staying until six. So I'm gonna wait for him.
right guys that is everything for this video i changed back into the sweater because when i'm home i like to be like without hoodies and have a hood i just set out my hair because i'm actually about to take off my makeup i'm gonna go see my boyfriend in a couple hours but i'm gonna go take off my makeup right now and i just wanted to end the video off here because i have pretty much nothing else to do this was a kind of random video so i'm sorry for that hopefully you guys enjoyed it stay tuned for the tie-dye video where we're gonna tie-dye all the shirts and hats that i bought from walmart and then yeah i'll have more content up to make sure your post notifications are on that way you are notified every time that i post a new video i'm trying to upload more because i have more time since we're all quarantined here actually i don't know how it's gonna be in like a week because this is going up in a week and i don't know what the situation's gonna be so hopefully you guys are staying safe hopefully your friends your families are staying safe you guys are taking the right precautions and just come chill, watch my videos if you have nothing else to do because your girl will be here trying to upload more, post notifications, subscribe, and like the video. Those are the three things you gotta do. And then, yeah, I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.